I want to now move on to the contact us page to add some specific styling to this form. This is our current version here, but if we go over to the contact us page on the finished version, we can see it looks a little bit different, but it's mainly just a case of adding some spacing and alignment. You can of course go ahead and do this yourself if you feel confident doing so, but if not, just follow along with me. Let's begin by going over to the style.css and then we can go ahead and make a comment. So inside of here we can add the contact us and then we can go ahead and target our form. We can add some basic styles such as padding. So padding of 10 pixels, which will of course appear inside of the form element. Then to add some spacing on the top and bottom of the form, we can add some margin. So 10 pixels on the top and bottom and zero on the left and right. We can also make this a little bit wider. So let's say 600 pixels. Give that a save and then refresh. And now we have some basic styling for our form. Things would also look a lot better if these first four inputs were also lined up. So at the moment, the four input areas are all pushed up to the edge of the text or the label in fact. To do this, I'm going to add a custom class to these first four div sections. So over to the contact us or the contact.html. Let's take a look for the first four divs which begin with name. Let's add a class of inline. And then I'm going to copy this and then paste it for the email, also for the message. And then we also have the subject, which is this section here. So to the opening div for this section two. And make sure we save that. And then we can target this over in the CSS, starting with setting the width of the text label. So dot in line for the class, and then select the label. And the width can be any value of our choosing, but I'm gonna go for 100 pixels. So give that a save. So first of all, if we refresh, we can see there's no change. This is because, as we've already mentioned, we can't set the width of inline elements and by default label is inline. So I'm going to go over to the CSS and change this to be inline block. So we can affect the width. Okay, good. This is more like it. We now have a wider label, which lines up these inputs on the right, but these inputs would also look better with being a little bit wider. We can target certain inputs based on their input type. So first of all, if we set the inputs and then open up the square brackets, we can then target only the type of text. And then separate by a comma, we can also target the input with the type of email too. Then we we'll open up the braces as we normally do. So for these first two, let's add the padding of 10 pixels, and then we can make them a little bit wider. So let's go for 400 pixels. Over to the browser. Good, so this looks a little bit better, but we can see this text area is still smaller than the other inputs. We have a couple of options here. We could either go back to the HTML code and add more columns. Since we have the columns and rows attribute, on the text area. Or we can override these in the CSS by also targeting the text area. And now if we reload, all the inputs are now the same width. Just to wrap this up, let's add some margin also around each one of these div elements, just to add some spacing to the top and bottom. We can do this by selecting the form and then each div which follows. So let's set the margin to be 10 pixels on the top and bottom and zero on the left and right. So remember this will target all the div elements which are a direct child of form. So reload and now have some spacing on the top and bottom of each div section. 
Okay, good, this form now looks a lot better with some more even spacing. Next is your chance to get some more practice by adding the final styles to this project.